Happy Monday evening, everyone, and welcome back to Vlogtoberfest. We're so happy to have you here. We are here to answer all of your cruise questions tonight. I know that the thumbnail said Harmony of the Seas on the little photo there, but we can talk about anything and everything cruise related that you guys want to. We're here for 30 minutes tonight on this wonderful Monday. Having a heat wave in California again, you guys. It was 88 degrees when I left my office. Those of you who are in the snow are probably not very happy with me right now. But it's true, <laughs> it's so warm. So we had a great time in the pre-chat tonight. So much fun, we all got talking about our recent announcement that our next cruise will be on Royal Princess. We've been talking about pizza, the piazza, high tea, and all the good things that we are going to experience on Royal Princess this Thanksgiving. It's gonna be very exciting. Welcome, Sani4475, to your first live chat. We're so happy to have you here. You're gonna have a great time on Harmony of the Seas in May, and we're just so glad that you're here. And yes, Jim, you made it. To those of you who have just signed on, Welcome, welcome. Yes, Kathy, you can take soda and wine on Princess, just keep it in your carry-on. All right, I wanna answer a question that came in earlier from Caitlin Rose. Caitlin is looking for suggestions on a honeymoon cruise. She said, should we go to places we've already been and are comfortable with or new ports? Caitlin, I think you should try something new for your honeymoon and maybe a little bit more exotic. So if you've done the Eastern and the Western Caribbean, I think you should try the Southern Caribbean or alternatively, try a longer cruise to places that you've been. If you've been to Alaska on a seven night cruise, try a 10 night cruise or try a land and sea tour. Um, if you've never been to Europe, Europe is very romantic. It's another great thing to do. Greece is wonderful, the Eastern Med is wonderful, Western Mediterranean, even Northern Europe, depending on what you're looking for. But I say do something a little bit new. I think that would be great. I'm sorry traveling on that we're on at the same time as Matt. There's live streams every night now. It's hard to keep up with all of them. I wish I could watch even one quarter of the stuff that's out there, but I can't do it. There's just too much. So yeah, let's answer some questions here. Tina the Cruising Librarian said, do you think the walk to Maya Chan pickup point would be okay for a solo traveler? Absolutely fine, yes. Most of it is through a secured area in the port and then you're only walking a few blocks outside the secured area and there's lots of people around. I wouldn't worry about that at all. I would do it alone. Please do not worry. Um, Becky said, where can I find out what over-the-counter medications will be allowed flying to Spain? Becky, I don't know exactly if you're asking if you can put them in your carry-on baggage or not, but when in doubt, just check your, your medications if there's some concern about that. Mike St. Germain said, happy Monday. Would you recommend waiting until March to pay for a 10 year anniversary trip? Money is really tight, what do you recommend? Um, I'm not sure, Mike, if you mean like pay off the final payment or wait to book it, but I would say wait until you can afford it because that's just a good way to live your life and it's absolutely okay to wait. I don't think I would rush it, my friend. Um, but tell me a little more about your situation and I'll try to help you out with that. Aaron Wolf said, what is an excursion you would suggest for St. Martin? Well, we did a fun little excursion in St. Martin. It was like a speedboat and snorkeling tour, but a lot of people, what they do is just go to some of the beaches. Um, when we were gonna visit St. Martin, we were gonna go with Bernard's tours and just go to two beaches, to Maho and Orient Beach for the day. So maybe just check out the beaches. All right, Bill Bayungo said, can you recommend a hotel in downtown Seattle close to the seaport? Bill, the only time I ever stayed in Seattle, I stayed at a really beautiful hotel called the Hotel Andra, but it's more downtown, it's not by the seafront. So let's see if our friends here in the chat can um, recommend some hotels in Seattle close to the port for you, since I don't have as much experience with that. That'd be great. I'm sure we can have some people weigh in and help us out. Mike and Cheryl are tracking the Patriots game. Score is in the chat. Um, MYAS said, cruising soon. When should you start packing for your cruise? It's totally up to you. I start mm, I start putting things aside in my closet a good month early, and then I, I really do a good packing job about a week before, usually, sometimes two weeks before. It really just depends. We're also filming our packing, so we have to do it earlier than if you were just jumping on a plane. We've got to film it and 
then have time to edit it. So a lot of times we'll do two to three weeks, but I think a week is probably sufficient. Captain's Table MDR said, hi Sherry, now that Junior's getting older, will you pull him out of school to cruise? We do with our kids. We do it all the time anyway, we already do. He just has to take his work with him and he's a good diligent road schooler when he needs to be. So we do it all the time. Um, JC's wife, 1993 says, looking for recommendations on a Mediterranean cruise, which cruise line has anybody been on Costa? Haven't been on Costa yet, but I would highly recommend you consider MSC Yacht Club experience. Um, MSC's wonderful cruise line, but for the price that you might be able to do one of the North American mainstream lines, you might be able to do the Mediterranean in the Yacht Club on MSC. Also, Princess has some beautiful ships over in the Med, including the new Sky Princess. So definitely check out your options and cruise with a line that you feel comfortable with. Samantha Vanderwall said, on Carnival, does everyone in the same room have to have the soda package? No. No, Samantha, you don't have to have the same, ha same room, doesn't have to have the soda package, but the alcohol drink package, you do. Nancy Allen said, is the internet package on Carnival worthwhile? For us, it totally is, Nancy. We've had good experiences with the internet on Carnival, so hopefully that helps you. Wind West 4D said, what beverages can I bring aboard Carnival Horizon? So on Carnival, you cannot take any um, plastic. So no plastic water bottles. So you can take canned soda or bottles of wine. That would also be fine. Um, two bottles of wine per stateroom or one per adult will be just fine but no plastic. So if you need to take water, you'd have to take it canned or cartoned, but most people take some soda and things like that. All right. All right, Kimberly Freeman wants to know, how is debarkation in Tampa? Anybody know if she self debarks, will she be able to be off by 7.30? Kimberly, I've never done a cruise out of Tampa, but I'm hoping some of our friends here in the chat can help. Tess Hardy said, hi Sherry, ever been on a celebrity cruise? My mom is going on one in February and wondered what to expect. If so, what did you think? Tess, I haven't been on a celebrity cruise, but I've heard it's quite similar to the premium nature uh, or the premium feel of a princess cruise, and I've heard that it's a really good experience. I have a friend who just cruised Alaska on Carnival, excuse me, on um, Celebrity and had a wonderful time. So yeah, give it a try. It, your mom will enjoy it. That's the bottom line. She's going to love it. Um, Melissa Pelletier said, was it windy on your pier walk at Coco Cay? Yeah, it was really, really windy that day, Melissa. But interestingly enough, it wasn't windy once we got into the water park, just on the, um, on the, uh, coastal area. Samantha said, what juices are available on the carnival without the soda package? Just the juices at the breakfast bar. So probably orange and some kind of blended juices. Um, they're probably not freshly squeezed though. They're just going to come out of a machine. So just mostly the juices at breakfast. Other than that, you probably have to pay for them. Um, Lisa Lexo said, wanting to book a day spa resort in Nassau going in January. Should we book in advance or go there the, the day of in case of bad weather? I would just book it in advance and then make sure that they have a refund policy if there's bad weather. Aaron Wolf said, have you been to San Juan and what would you suggest? Aaron, we haven't yet been to San Juan, but everybody that we talk with says that you do not need to book an excursion in San Juan, that it's an extremely walkable port. Enjoy the downtown area, food and drink, and then walk to the fort. I've heard it's best to walk to the fort in the morning while it's cooler. So yeah. Woo, you guys, our questions are coming in fast. Okay, um, Jess Hood said, do you recommend a backpack or shoulder bag tote for a shore day bag? It depends, Jess, on what you're doing. If you're in Europe, I'd recommend a backpack with a lock. If you're on a beach day, I might recommend a shoulder bag to put your beach towels in um, or a backpack that holds some beach towels. It's just really something that we alternate um, and you can always, um, you can always just kind of um, take both and then see how it feels that day. So take a small packable backpack and a small packable shoulder bag and see how, how it feels. Okay. Um, yes, Rebecca said, I love the top you wore in the cruise announcement yesterday. Can you share where you found it? I absolutely can. Um, that top was from Fashion. Fashion is a new subscription box that I love and I'm gonna give you my referral link so that you can get $10 off your first box. Um, we also have on our cruise gear channel, we did an unboxing and you can see what that shirt is called. So go to youtube.com forward slash cruise gear and you can see that actual top and I, can, I list the name of it there when I'm speaking about it and then you can request that exact top. So let me get you my invitation link. It is a referral link. And again, you get $10 off your first box at Fashion. And um, 
your first styling fee of $15 will be waived. You're paying for the box of clothing, you're paying for what you keep, but the styling fee is waived for everyone on the first one. So the thing I just put in the chat for you is, um, is, uh, is for you to get $10 off. Rockstar Brewski is in the house with a super chat. Thank you very much, Bruce, you're sweetie. Um, he said, wow, so many people have questions. Here's a super chat to pay for the wine you'll need to drink after this live session. Rockstar Brewski, thank you, sir. I, I appreciate it. I'm gonna eat some dinner after this. So you guys, um, I love sharing what we eat. We have a little Instagram following. Our Instagram page, my son and I are always cooking over there. I'm not using my Instant Pot tonight, Bruce. Tonight, I went to Trader Joe's and I got this really weird combination of foods. So this is what we're having. We're having pita bread, like fresh, super yummy, fresh pita bread. And we're gonna stuff it with like cabbage mix, like almost like a coleslaw. And then we're gonna put the, um, the pulled chicken with barbecue sauce on it. So it's gonna be like pulled chicken sandwiches in a pita bread instead of on a bun. I love pita bread and I was craving it. I was kind of craving like a falafel pita, but then I saw that yummy um, pulled chicken and it just sounded really fun. So I'm trying to mix it up for Junior. He's one of those kids that like, he likes to try new things. If I try to feed him like grilled chicken breast every night, he's like, ugh, turns up his nose. So we'll see how that goes over. Hopefully Bruce, you know how it goes. He's not a picky kid, but he changes his mind on what he likes. Let's just put it that way. Carol Handy said, my daughter's getting married in May 2021 and wants to do a group cruise for her honeymoon. What's the best cruise line out of Galveston? Well, you have options. You have Royal Caribbean, you have Carnival. So I would say you gotta think about her party and kind of what would work best for them and then just pick the best ship, but you have wonderful options. Um, if you need assistance with that group cruise for a wedding and she doesn't have a travel agent yet, my um, travel agent specializes in groups and weddings and she actually got married on a carnival ship so she can totally help you. Send me a direct message on Facebook at our Cruise Tips TV channel and I can hook you up with her. Also, we just made a video about weddings at sea and her information is in the description of that video. So highly recommend that you use a very good experienced travel agent for a wedding cruise group booking. All right, Nick. Gobtop, hi Nick, said, what would you do in Freeport? Nick, I've never been to Freeport. Let's help Nick out, you guys. What should he do there? Um, Bear Bull, going on Carnival, Panorama, January 11th, 2020. How is the new shopping area in Puerto Vallarta and is it easy to get around the cruise terminal with a mobility scooter? Bear Bull, I don't think that we've seen the shopping terminal as it was renovated, but I can tell you that yes, it is easy to get around in a scooter. It is hot and muggy in Puerto Vallarta though, so you might want to venture out and find a good accessible excursion and kind of get into some air conditioning for the day. But it's a fun place to hang out for a few hours, but try to get out of there. I see Matt from Royal Caribbean Blog in the house. I also see Tommy from Always Be Booked in the house. And earlier I saw Nurse Nancy in the house. We got a lot of our YouTube podcast and content creation friends. Hi guys, thanks for coming. Um, Marlena Bauer said, do they board by status or time of arrival? If we arrive early, but we're just gold, will they make us wait longer? Depends on the cruise line, Marlena, but usually no. Usually only the upper echelons of, um, Boarding, uh, excuse me, a priority will board early, but usually then after that it's by boarding group. So if you're like ultra super platinum or platinum or whatever cruise line you're on, you'll go on first, but then usually after that by boarding group. So show up early anyway, that would be my choice for you. Okay. Um, Linus Soliank says, will I get bored on a 14 day cruise, MSC Maravilla, March 20th? I hope you don't, I certainly wouldn't. I, I think you can find plenty of things to do. Jess Gordon said, is the all-inclusive Princess Mayan Resort in Roatan worth the cost? I've never been to that one, Jess. Let's see if anybody knows. Um, Ms. Mary said, Cruise Tips TV, do you have a video on picking out luggage? Why, yes, Ms. Mary. We have something like that on our Cruise Gear channel. It was kind of like a shop with me type thing. So you can find it on our Cruise Gear channel if you just type in luggage, it should pop up. All right. Isabel said, will you be driving to the cruise port and will you be doing carry-on only again? Ah, uh, Isabel, you are transporting into the conversations in the Cruise Tips TV household lately. Yes, we are absolutely driving to port. We live a few hours from Los Angeles. So we're driving to port. We're probably gonna get a hotel the night before because we wanna try to get on the ship really early. And I've heard that with medallion class cruising, you get to board really early, which is super exciting. Um, and will we do carry on only? I am probably going to break tradition and pack a bit more this time. 
listen to the podcast that's going up this Wednesday because me and Mr. Chris TV have a fun, spirited discussion about it. Um, I won't pack crazy amounts of stuff, but I think I'm probably going to go with a bigger suitcase this time, just so you know. Jonathan Harmon said, any Royal Genie tips while I'm on Symphony this season? Ah, oh, Jonathan, I've never got to use the Royal Genie. Um, I don't know if Matt from Royal Caribbean Blog, Matt, have you used the Royal Genie and do you have any tips for him? I'm new to that. Um, Mary Middleton said, when do I sign up for the Dr. Seuss breakfast and how much? Usually, Mary, on boarding day, on embarkation day, like out by the pool, by the sail away party, they'll have sign up tables. So you can sign up there and I think it's $5 a person. It was the last time I was on Carnival. Okay, um, Melissa said, is it cheaper to book the next cruise while on a current cruise or wait for a deal? Melissa, I wouldn't necessarily book your cruise on the ship, but I would put down a deposit. If you're on a cruise line that has a good future cruise program, put your deposit down and secure something and you'll probably get a little free um, onboard credit. Okay, Hi Chi Wa said, going on NCL Bliss in December, any recommendation for the premium dining? Yes, Los Lobos is great. Um, loved Los Lobos, loved the seafood restaurant. I'm blanking out in the name of it right now. And um, gosh, all of it is really wonderful. Tr try to do as many specialties as you can. They were all so good. Um, Tina Hot said, will you guys be sailing on Mardi Gras? Maybe, not sure yet, Tina. No plans to yet, but we'll see. Matthew Pizer said that I heard that Royal Caribbean is dropping packages for interior balconies on the Oasis class ships. Yeah, I heard about that. Um, I think those add-ons, they're, they're dropping some of those. I heard about that, Matthew. That's kind of a bummer. Um, Santa4475 says, when does Royal Caribbean stop discounting the excursions, dining, and drink packages prior to sailing? There's no set formula for it, Sani4475, but like Matt at Royal Caribbean blog always says what you want to do is you definitely want to try to book them early. The prices do not usually go down, they go up. And Matt was right. I listened to him and he was right and ah, uh, it only gets worse. So book them early. I've heard Black Friday, they sometimes have sales. Maybe check that out. Okay, Tess, I think you can take plastic water bottles on Royal Caribbean as far as I know. Um, Mike and Cheryl said, what are you most looking forward to on Royal Caribbean? Oh my gosh, there's so many things. Exploring a Royal class ship. I've heard Mike and Cheryl, one of my subscribers messaged me and said, hey, there's this special tea. It's not just tea, like free tea, it's an upcharge Royal tea. And you guys have to go to it. I'm like, yes, yes, a thousand times yes, I would. Um, there's so many things I'm looking forward to. I love the beds. We did upgrade to a mini suite and oh, I love mini suites. I'm looking forward to taking hot baths after long port days. I'm looking forward to not flying. <laughs> There's just so many things, Mike and Cheryl. I don't even know where to start. Captain's Table MDR said, Sherry, have you ever visited the medical facilities on board? Are ships equipped to deal with advanced life support or just basic first aid? You know, they're all kind of different. I've only dealt with them for my son having the flu. My understanding is that they're equipped to deal with quite a bit that in a very serious medical emergency though, they're gonna try to get you to a port as quickly as possible. In some cases, life flighted off that ship. Um, P.S. said, could you advise on trip insurance with traveling to a place that has an advisory of avoid non-essential travel for Haiti, but going to Labadee, will you be covered for medical and emergencies? That is definitely a question for a travel insurance expert. Um, I cannot speak to that. I don't work for a travel insurance company. Get on the phone, call them, ask them. They should be able to help you with that. Queen of Fun Travel said, Sherry, what is the refreshing drink you have? This is just LaCroix tonight with flavored ice cubes. It's nothing too fancy, but my son and I, um, we like to grow a vegetable garden and we had a lot of extra mint this year. So we froze mint and lime slices into ice cube trays and it's really refreshing when mixed with, uh, with LaCroix. And I have a drop of orange essential oil in there and it's really good. I don't even know what flavor of LaCroix it is, but. There's actually a couple little slices of green apple in here too. I see that we must have put some green apples in our ice cube because it's floating in my drink. <laughs> so funny. And Jennifer Nicholson said, on Carnival, can we take a soft side cooler that's on wheels as a carry-on? Generally, Jennifer, that's too big of a cooler. They don't usually like you to take more than a personal cooler. I've been told that's a no. So any Carnival experts in the house, please feel free to weigh in if you've had an experience getting one of those on the ship. Janelle said, what to do around the port of Miami while waiting for a flight um, time back home? So Janelle, anytime somebody has a late flight, 
on your debarkation day, I recommend that you book an excursion through the cruise company so that you can have your luggage transported with you. Um, that's my recommendation. As far as Miami is concerned, I don't know if you could do an Everglades, like an airboat tour or something like that, but that's what I would do. All right. Um, Terry Z said, group of 12 going on Harmony, seven different cruisers, different muster stations. Do you know what this means? Will you be all over the place? Yes, Terry. You probably will be spread out during the muster drill, but don't worry. You will be reunited, reunited after that. Samantha Vanderwall said, what are some tips for food allergies for Carnival Ecstasy dairy-free? Samantha, on day one, before you even get on, um, before you even sit down in that dining room, go see the maitre d' and just let them know your food allergies. And then again, when you sit down, let them know they're going to accommodate you and bring you a special menu and help you out. Do not worry. They will take excellent care of you. Um, Catherine Bentley said, perfect day question. Is there enough entertainment for a five and seven year old who loves water play in the free areas? Oh yeah, because Captain Jill's Galleon is free. Um, so I would say that you could absolutely do it. Although the wave pool could be kind of nice. For five and seven year olds, I actually think that the, the free areas outside might be better. There are fun things inside Thrill Water Park. Um, for little kids but mostly bigger kids like the wave pool will be okay for them just to splash and play in that will be really fun the wave pool um and the little splash zone will be fun a little more advanced maybe but if you don't want to spend the money i wouldn't i wouldn't feel obligated to spend the money because there's quite a few little water slides outside too all right janina said can you use Cruise gift cards toward deposit or payments? I think you can, yes. I think you can just apply them um, when you're making your payment online. Caroline Hot said, what's everyone opinion, everyone's opinion of Norwegian's Great Stirrup Key leaving November 9th? Good question. What do you guys think of Great Stirrup Key, guys? Who's been there? Let us know in the chat. We would love to know. I see lots of sports talk going by real fast in the chat here. Ariana Million says, what's the best way to pack for a 15-day cruise? I'm an experienced cruiser, but I've never been on a trip this long. Ariana, I would pack for about eight to 10 days and then wash, do laundry, and re-wear. That would be my strategy. And maybe take a few extra pairs of shoes just so you have a good selection, but either use self-serve laundry on board if it's available or pay to have some laundry done and keep it light. That's what I would do. I went on a 12-night cruise and that's what I did and it worked great. We did laundry several times, but it worked well. BLK344, how long in advance do you usually book your cruise, specifically recent Harmony? We booked Harmony less than 60 days out. It really depends. I have, de I have a deposit down on a cruise that's well over a year away, but a lot of times for us, we like to book more two to three months out because our life changes a lot. And if I have something come up at my day job and I can't go, I could lose a deposit. And I had that happen recently and I just, uh, that's why we kind of tend to wait. So for me, it depends. If it's something that's really exotic or I don't want to lose a specific cabin, I'll book a year in advance, six months. But otherwise I like to wait till maybe more like the two month mark. Tyson said, kids two and four, should we take an umbrella stroller for St. Thomas and St. Saint, Saint Juan, San Juan? Absolutely. Absolutely 100% umbrella stroller because they're tiny and they're compact and you can just put them in the corner of your room at two and four. It's a must, especially in that heat. Do it. Um, no BLK. I've never booked on next cruise on the ship itself, but I have put a deposit down on the next cruise. Ange, not Ang. Sorry about that. The other day that was really funny. Ange, can you bring strollers on Carnival? Yes, you can. Tess said, how do you figure out how much cash to take in ports with different currencies? It depends on where you're going. Most of them take US dollars, depending on where you're going. Mexico, Caribbean, most of them take US dollars. In Europe or Asia, totally different story and you just have to use your best judgment, but credit cards are widely accepted most of those places and you can get cash in the airport when you get there. So try not to worry too much. Janina Hartman said on Carnival, is there a one time per day charge for room service? No, it's uh, one time per order is my understanding. Jake Frazier said, what's better, Mediterranean or British Isles? Well, Mediterranean, they're both great, but Mediterranean cruises tend to be a little warmer, a little more Southern. British Isles is great for a different experience, but you've also got like the Eastern Mediterranean, you've got the Western Mediterranean, you can do Greece. There's so many different med types of cruises, it just depends, but if you wanna be warmer, I wouldn't do British Isles. Um, 
Uh, BLK said, is it true that food in the main dining room and buffet are basically the same? I don't think they are. On most ships, they're not. I, I mean, sometimes they'll have similar things in the main dining room, but I haven't had that experience. Debbie Solomon said, going on Star Princess 15 nights to Hawaii from San Pedro, do you know how the sea motion is like on this voyage? Five days there and back. Um, Mike and Cheryl did that cruise. They're in the chat. I've heard it can be rocky, but let's have Mike and Cheryl um, weigh in. The Very Lazy Travelers, thank you for the super chat. I just saw it pop up on my screen. Um, they said, does the CTTV family ever think about a tall ship or river cruise? Junior probably will like the pirate ship looking. Yes, we would love to do that. Absolutely. If they'll allow our kid, we'll go. All right. All right. Um, Hisham Farhat said, I wanted to ask, is it worth getting a couple's massage? Absolutely. I think it's great. I think you should go for it. It sounds romantic. It might be a little bit expensive, but do it. Go for it. Stacy King said, we're going to Tortola in January on Encore. Want to go to the beach? And of course, we'll need drinks and snacks. Does anyone have beaches or beach clubs they recommend? I don't know about specific beaches in Tortola, but you guys, doesn't everybody go to Yost Van Dyke from um, Tortola? I think a day trip to Yost Van Dyke sounds like just what you're looking for. Yost spelled with a J, J-O-S-T. Look it up and see if you can do that. Okay, Melissa Pelletier said, if you could have any cruise you wanted, money or time um, being no issue, where would you go? And Matt, same question. Well, duh. Melissa, I have to say a world cruise. Is that cheating? But yeah, I'd take a world cruise in a mini suite with a bathtub. Sound good? Yes, you know it. Um, Lisa Lexo said, how is the cruise port in Charleston, South Carolina? I've never been. Friends, anybody been? Crystal said, hi, my daughter, 11 and 12, are going on Enchantment. Don't want them to be bored. Already booked. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that you're going to be bored on Royal Caribbean. In Cozumel, we just did a video, Crystal, on five different things you can do in Cozumel. Check it out. We love to go to the beach clubs in Cozumel, but just look for it on our channel. It just came out this week. Um, Hisham Farha said, what is the best time to reach Port of Miami? Earlier is usually better for most people, 10.30ish maybe, depending on what cruise line you're on, but we like to reach the port early. Um, Danny Lynn Ramos, is the pool in Oasis of the Sea salted? Usually those are not salted, they're chlorinated, fresh water. Sophie Burns said, any recommendations for my mom and I, I'm 12, that are safe in Costa Maya on Royal Caribbean, or should I just stay in the port? Oh, Sophie, that's a great question. Sophie, um, you can definitely take a cab to a beach in Costa Maya if you want. Um, some of the beaches are a little bit icky right now, so we went to a beach club that had a seaweed problem or a seagrass problem, but can anybody make a recommendation for Sophie? And hi, Sophie, so glad you're here. Queen of Fun Travel said, Sherry, what are your favorite excursions in Mazatlan, Vallarta, and Cabo? Okay, we've done a lot, Queen of Fun Travel, but in Puerto Vallarta, one of my favorite things to do is either go to a resort for the day at Now Amber Resort or Hyatt Ziva, or better yet, go zip lining with Los Veranos Canopy Excursion. In Cabo, we like to take a, um, a water taxi over to Medano Beach for the day, but there's a ton of other things to do. And on our Princess Cruise, we're gonna do all new excursions for you guys. Mazatlan, we've done a lot of sneaking into the hotels uh, on the Golden Zone and just enjoying the pools for the day. Jake Frazier said, how do I go about doing back-to-back -back Europe cruise? Jake, use a travel agent to help you book a back-to-back, -back, but it's pretty easy. You just need to see if you can try to get the same cabin for both cruises. So work with a travel agent on that. If you need a recommendation, send me a message on Facebook, our Cruise Tips TV Facebook page, and I can recommend a travel agent for you. Everly um, what said, what's your favorite things to bring? Oh, Everly, lots of things. Comfortable shoes, a sleep mask, watch our packing videos, tons of things. Caitlin Hughes said, Sherry, I can't justify going to specialty restaurants on my cruises because I hate the idea of shelling out more money when there's already free food. Any experience with this? Yeah, lots of times, Caitlin. A lot of times we're cruising on a budget and we won't shell out the money. A lot of times on Princess, we never shell out the money because it's already the food is already so good. Yeah, totally. Just enjoy what's given to you. Um, no need to spend money on it. Jake Frazier, thank you for the super chat. I'm sorry that I missed that. Holly Ayers said, we've always used a cash account on Carnival, but we're trying a credit card this time. Has anyone had problems with holds not being removed quickly or using the Carnival Barclay card? Holly, I haven't heard anybody having trouble with that. No, you should be okay. Mike St. Germain said, is it better to drive than fly? Like to port? I mean, if you live close to a port, it's really nice and stress-free way to cruise, but it depends on where you're going. All right, Matt. 
That is very sweet. Matt from Royal Caribbean Vlog said, Hey chatters, be sure to hit the like button in this video. Every time you like a CTTV Sherry, Sherry a CTTV video, a Sherry gets her wings. I know, right? Ah, ah. It's true. Thank you, Matt. You're very kind. No, it's, it's just, it really is helpful, you guys. All that stuff affects the algorithm on YouTube, which is quite the mystery, isn't it? But thank you, Matt. You're a sweetie. Steve Apole said, is there any way to find out how many ships will be in port for a certain day? Yes, absolutely. All you have to do is Google it. So here's what you're going to Google. I'm going to do it right now while we talk, Steve. You're going to Google um, the name of the port and then you're going to say cruise ship schedule. So let's go. Let's try it. Grand Cayman. I'm going to try it right now. Now, of course, my internet's not working. <laughs> Isn't that the way? Isn't that always the way? So you would just type in like Grand Cayman cruise ship schedule and then a bunch of different options will pop up. Um, when I did that, caymanport.com ship schedules came up. There's also like a crew website that comes up, but all you have to do is Google it and you can absolutely find out. I do that all the time. I think it's really fun. Shelly Wooten said, which is better, the glass bottom boats or the submarine-like tours? Well, it just depends on if you get claustrophobic in the submarine boats or if you like fresh air. I'm more of a fresh air boat girl, but you could try the submarine. It would be really fun. Um, the three and five-year-olds, I don't think they get restless. I think they'd enjoy, but I think a, I think a glass bottom can be kind of nice because you can kind of get the fresh air. But if there's a lot of really great underwater marine life where you're going, the, the um, submarine could be really neat. Pam Wheatley said, Help on handicap excursions that are not sightseeing. Is there a list somewhere? Not really, Pam, but a lot of times what we recommend for this is to wait until you get on the ship and go talk to the shore excursion staff and see what they recommend to make sure that it's truly accessible. Um, Dud Studs said, I'm going on the new Carnival Panorama in February. Are you guys going to check it out? Yes. Um, Dud Studs, I have been waiting to tell you guys this, but I guess I should probably just tell you right now that we are going to be going to the naming ceremony on Carnival Panorama. The naming ceremony happens the day before the first um, cruise sets sail. So on December 10th, we have been invited to go check it out for the day. We don't even get to spend the night on the ship, but we're gonna take lots of video for you and I will do everything I can to go live from Carnival Panorama on December 10th. As of right now, we do not have a cruise booked on Carnival Panorama, but we're gonna try. I just need more vacation time. If I had all, if I had all the time in the world, I'd be booked on it in a heartbeat, but it's not that easy, right? Kaya Pin said, when traveling to the inside passage to Whittier, Alaska, does the cruise get you to Anchorage? Depends on your situation. Check with your travel agent. I would need more info to answer that. JD1015 said, hi, Sherry. Wife and I are big fans of yours. This is our first live stream. Well, welcome, you guys. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you for being big fans. We appreciate you. Okay. Alicia Devine said, cruising with children, does the main dining on Royal Oasis? Yes, they do have kids' menus, Alicia. All Royal Caribbean um, cruise lines have kids' menus. Michael Arnold, you're so cute. Michael Arnold said, will the podcast have sound effects? Loved last week. No sound effects. Mr. Cruise Tips TV is back on the podcast. Podcast. To those of you who don't know what we're talking about, we have a podcast. It's called Cruise Tips TV Unplugged, and you can find it just about anywhere you listen to podcasts. So check it out. Um, Misty Gray said, how far is La Goddess Airport from NCL Port? I don't know. I'm so sorry. I don't know what port that is. Christine said, um, Sherry, does your travel agent deal with Canadians? Christine, I think she can book Canada, but if she can't, you should call Don from Don's Family Vacations. I know Don is an agent in Canada, and he can help you out. Lisa Lexo said, how much does travel insurance usually add to the price of the ticket? Depends on how expensive the cruise is. Usually two to $400 um, total, but it really depends. Um, Hisham Farhat said, is it safe to take your valuable items off the ship with you? Hisham, it just depends on where you're cruising and if that port is safe. Usually we try to leave things in the safe. Okay, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, can you move Tina up for me? Thank you. Tina, I'm going to get to your question on stock. Tina Hot said, what are your thoughts on purchasing a stock in a cruise line? Wow, that's an interesting question, huh? Timely, huh, babe? I think it's a great idea. Um, we have recently started purchasing Carnival stock. I don't think that's a secret. Um, we're trying to work our way up to 100 shares. We're not there yet. It's expensive, but it's not real expensive right now. So we're trying to buy while we can. Um, you can get some great stockholder benefits, a good dividend payout every year, and onboard credit. So to me, it's a great idea, Tina. And I, I think it's a good investment. 
um, but we really diversify with our investments. So I only have one stock right now and um, we do a lot of other types of investing in our life just to try to keep it safe, you know? Mary Middleton said, my check-in time for the Carnival Panorama is 1230. What's the earliest? It was the earliest check-in option. What time will they start letting people on the ship? Maybe 1130 noon, but I don't know how Panorama is going to be with speed. So if it was me, I'd arrive at like 1030 or 11, but you might be stuck outside for a while, but it's worth the risk. Um, guys, let's help Ashley Wilson with excursion ideas in St. Lucia. Um, St. Lucia. Celeste Zara said, what is your favorite specialty restaurant on Princess? Well, there's not a huge amount of choices on the ships I've been on, but I definitely, definitely like the steakhouse and I definitely prefer that over Sabatini's. So I'm more of a crown gr grill girl, but Sabatini's is great too. Amy Sharp said, when purchasing travel insurance, how do you factor in costs of things you haven't booked yet, like flights, hotel, excursion costs? Yes, those are factored in, Amy. What you, what you need to do with your travel insurance, and again, ask a professional, I'm not a professional, you need to cover all your dates. You're more at risk of not booking your, your before or after flight than you are the things in between. Um, Fallen, I already, I think I already answered Fallen's question. We're going to do an unboxing on our cruise gear channel as soon as I can get it together, guys. Life has been crazy, but I'm working on it. Um, you know, Kathy wants to know if you have to enter your credit card number before you print your luggage tags on Princess. You don't want to put in your credit card. You have gift cards. Kathy, I'm not sure. Try it. See if you can get through the registration process on Carnival and then have your, um, luggage tags available. Okay, I already answered Melissa's. Carmen Yeva said, booked on first cruise on Royal Caribbean, five days to Cozumel, Mexico from Miami, Florida on Explorer of the Sea is very excited, but worried about getting seasick. Any tips and tricks? Yeah, Carmen, try not to worry about it, but get some sea bands. They're called sea bands. They're a nice non-medicinal way to hopefully pr uh, protect yourself against nausea. And if you would like to get an over-the-counter um, motion sickness medication, try um, scopolamine, it's those little patches, or go to your doctor and get a prescription, but try not to worry. Sophie Burns, um, Sophie, I haven't been to San Juan, so I, I would say just walk around. I don't really think you need an excursion in San Juan. Um, Alicia Davine said, can younger children use a swim vest in the pool? Yes, they can, Alicia, as long as they're of the age that they're allowed to go in the pool and they're not wearing diapers. Captain's Table MDR said, does your family have a set daily dollar amount per person when booking a cruise that makes it reasonable, affordable, or a must-go? I like Captain's Table MDR. I love it when a week-long cruise is under $2,500 for the three of us. That's my idea of a bargain. If we can keep it under that amount, so you'd have to, I'd have to do the math on that. That's way under $100 a person per day, but that's a sweet spot for us. Jess Gordon said, I have been on six Royal Caribbean ships, three on Vision Class and three on Oasis Class. How does Carnival compare to Royal Caribbean? It's so hard to compare Jess because every Carnival ship and every Royal Caribbean ship are just different. So I really can't compare them side by side. I'm sorry, I know that's hard. Okay, you guys, just a few more minutes of questions. We are busy in the chat tonight. If I do miss you, do you guys know what to do? I'm gonna say it again. If I miss your question, don't give the video a thumbs down. Give the video a thumbs up. And then go over to Facebook and follow Cruise Tips TV and send me a direct message and I will personally answer your question. Promise, I never miss a DM. Rosalinda Ellis said, taking a big family vacation in the spring, would it be possible for 14 of us to get a table together in the MDR? Maybe not a single table together for 14, but two right next to each other should be very possible. Wendy Roberts, I have not been on a Disney cruise. I'm sorry I can't answer that, but maybe somebody in the chat can help you. Jennifer Nicholson said, if you're not normally bothered by motion sickness, um, is the odds good you won't on your first cruise? Yeah, usually that's true, Jennifer. Usually if you're not bothered by motion of, of small boats or um, if you don't get car sick, you should be okay. Should be okay. Okay. Um, Captain's Table MDR said, Sherry, what's one thing Mr. Cruise Tips TV likes to do or will never miss out on while on board a cruise? Never miss out on. Sitting on his balcony, he said. Yeah, that's a good one, sweetie. Yeah, he likes to chill on the balcony. Other than that, he's a really easygoing guy. Carmen Yeva said, packing carry-on for a flight. How would you recommend packing over-the-counter medication? Do you have to buy unopened pill bottles or can you repack? You, can, you don't have to buy them unopened, Carmen. You can take them as is, but if you'd like to put them in smaller pill containers, you can. There are people are generally more concerned about that than they need to be. 
Thank you very much, Joe, for the super chat for Junior to spend on Royal Princess. How, Joe, how do you think he'll spend it? Do you think he'll spend it in the arcade? Or what will he buy? Some mocktails? <laughs> Thank you so much, Joe. You're a sweetie. Steven Luang said, are you a coffee lover? Have you ever tried specialty coffee? Yeah, I'm totally a coffee lover and I drink specialty coffee almost every morning on a cruise and I love it. It's the best. It's a total highlight. All right. Okay, let's see here. Um, Sheila Boudreau, I've been told that Royal Caribbean only allows distilled water to be brought on board. Is this true? I've never heard that before, Sheila. I think sometimes with Royal Caribbean, it's a don't ask, don't tell policy. So, yeah. I, uh, I think that I think that you're okay to take some water. Should be fine. All right, you guys, we're gonna wrap up the questions tonight. I appreciate all of you, and I'm sorry if I've missed you. Um, thank you for all the kind comments tonight. So many sweethearts in the chat tonight. You guys are so great. Standing up for Cruise Tips TV. I see you, I see you. All right, I do have one more question coming in from Ashley M. I'm gonna try to get to this one before we say goodbye. Anything you learned on Harmony, Ashley says, that a first time Oasis class cruiser should know doing Oasis in April. Um, yeah, Ashley, this is so cliche because this is the advice that everybody gave us, but it's like, you can't do it all. Don't try to do it all. You will wear yourself out trying to do it all. Um, Pick a few specialty dining restaurants and enjoy them. The three night dining package was a win for us. We really loved it. Go to Wonderland. It's not weird. It's just wonderful and fun. Um, and you know, rest. Remember that you need to rest because these sh the Oasis class ships are big and exhausting and you just really need to try to plug in some time to unwind. All right, everybody. Thank you so very much to all of you for your patience tonight. I know I've missed some questions. Again, just go on over to Facebook, follow Cruise Tips TV, send me a DM and I'll answer it for you. Thank you all for being here. We will be back again this Friday night. So Friday of this week, same time, 5.45 for more questions and answers. And then again next Monday, we're also gonna try to go live on Halloween, my birthday, if we can, for a quick hello live stream before we go out for all of our Halloween festivities with Junior. So thank you all for being here. We hope you're loving Vlogtoberfest. We have a video coming every day this week for you. Until next time, friends, we'll see you on the high seas. Good night. Cruiser of the week. <laughs>